Here's a quick video on how I install the HKP30 trigger. Um, first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the slide off. Um, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the slide lock lever out. The left side just pulls out, the right side twists up, pops off. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the trigger pivot pin. Uh, we're gonna remove it from the right side, pushing to the left side. What I'm using is a 1 16th inch punch. I'm gonna put my finger over the top of the frame to capture the spring in case it shoots out. Next, what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, pull the trigger past the hammer. So, just like that. On ours, it's a little loose, but um, at this point, you can wiggle the trigger bar off of the trigger. The trigger then rotates down and out of the gun. To reinstall, you're going to push the trigger into the frame of the gun and loop that trigger bar over the top hole on the trigger. We will take our trigger pivot pin, lock it in on that side. Oh, my tri our trigger bar popped off. Just like that. Put the trigger pivot pin in. I'll reset our trigger bar. By pushing the, tr the bottom of the trigger forward, it'll push the trigger bar to the rear and uh, reseat it. So this next part's kind of tricky. We have our trigger return spring with a long leg and a short leg. And I've got a pair of pliers that I went ahead and filed and made, um, made them so that they can hold the spring and fully support it without crushing it. So this part's gonna take a little bit of uh, finger dexterity. Um, I'm gonna put the trigger pivot pin back into the frame, it keeps falling out. And I'm gonna use my middle finger to push forward on the trigger. That's gonna lock our trigger pivot pin in and it won't wanna fall. Next, I look down through the top of the frame and I make sure that this pin is not protruding past the frame. At this point, I'm gonna put a lot of load on that trigger so it locks that pivot pin in place. Next, I'm gonna grab our spring and our pliers hold them just like that with the long side facing towards me. Um, I'm going to place that long leg of the trigger right here in front of this cutout where the spring is going to live. And in one swoop, I'm going to push and push down, try and find that trigger hole, try and find the hole in the spring with the pen. There we go, I've got it. So now the pen is going through the spring, or the pen is going through the frame the spring and just touching on this side of the frame. And then we're gonna to need to push this side of the trigger up and we'll play with it a little bit to line everything up. Let's see if I can get it. Sometimes this part can be a little tricky. And it might require a little tap. There we go. Now I'm gonna uh, seat that pen all the way in with a punch. Test, make sure that trigger returns properly. We can reinstall our right side slide lock lever and our left side by just pushing this in. The left side is supposed to be captured. You can go ahead and reinstall your slide um, and you're good to go.